we're gonna be playing Can You Survive on a Deserted Island? Real quick, we're not gonna be talking about physical attributes or broad knowledge on survival skills because, again, none of us have those things. So instead, I'll be narrating a story and give you options along the way to pick from. And if you get the right answer, you survive, and if you don't, you get a strike. And the person with the least amount of strike wins. Also, since you guys might be getting tired of listening to our own voices, we have a special guest today, Anne! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Hi! Dan Plan invited me here, and I'm very excited to, to not die today. Let's say you're on a plane, and it crashes near an island, and you swim towards it. When you get there, you see about a dozen survivors. Your first question is this, what do you do first? A. Let's see if there are any tribes or villages on this island. B. Take leadership and delegate survival tasks. C. Scavenge the supplies and material you see on the shore. D. Make an SOS sign for rescue. Can we just let them do the work and we could just chill? Okay, well, first off, probably our best course of action is to s scavenge for supplies. Depending on how bad the plane broke up, if it's just like crippled beyond repair, then it's like no point in you even trying to search for supplies because it's probably already blown up. But if it, the plane's pretty intact when it fell, then it's like, uh, let's look for supplies. So I'm going to say look for supplies here. I also agree with Steven because if you also want to make an SOS sign for rescue help, then you probably need materials and items to do that. Um, I would probably be making the SOS sign because we just make it, let it be there, and then we do other things. Okay, well, Hosa, you get a strike because the answer is scavenge the supplies and material you see on the shore. Uh, the reason being is that because things can float away, gathering up anything and everything will make life so much easier for survival. Other things can come later. Hmm, makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Die, Hosa. <laughs> exactly. Get wrecked. See, I wanted to kill off Hosta as fast as possible, Why? just so I don't have to deal with him and carry him the whole time. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so after gathering the supplies, people start to argue over what to do next, right? Some say we should build a shelter. Others say night's coming and we need a fire. Things are getting really heated. Do you A. Stay with them and try to sort this out? Or B. Screw this nonsense, I am out of here. I'll stay with them and sort this out because being alone is horrible and you should never be alone. And if you're alone, you'll get lonely and you'll cry and you'll be sad and you'll die. <laughs> die of sadness. <laughs> No, I gotta say, I'm gonna do the exact opposite of Anne and actually go away from the group. If they resort to infighting this early on in the game, they're gonna keep fighting throughout the whole experience. So stupid, so I'm gonna have to say, get out of there. Plus, I'm yeah, better I can off completely picture Steven doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Where does Steven go? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, so what do you say? Uh, that's a hard, difficult choice. It's not in the option. But this is what I would do. I would just pick two or three people who I go well with, and then just stay with those three people. You gotta still pick A or B, man. <laughs> yeah, I know! <laughs> Damn it! Probably will stay with the group. Yeah, you guys are idiots. Stay with me. Steven. We don't need Steven. <laughs> Die, Steven.
could have probably taken some people with me, but that wasn't a choice because Daniel has terrible choices. Well, Steven, you're wrong. What? Suck it. <laughs> I'm totally right. You're all wrong. you leave now you're going to have to handle every aspect of survival yourself i would like to contest this answer later after the video you're like dan what the fuck was that second question next question so after an hour of fighting people finally settle down and then tasks are delegated to certain types of people so that everybody can do different things and get all of the things done at the same time and you unfortunately are charged of making fire of course, the only knowledge you ever have about building fire is from the Discovery Channel. You remember some weird ways to make fire, but you need to do this fast. You have three options. You have the A, lens-based method, B, bow drill method, and C, fire plow method. And no, I am not going to tell you guys what each of these things mean. You guys gotta figure it out and guess the right one, because knowledge is key when it comes to survival. <laughs> <laughs> First off, the lens-based method is pretty situational. Uh, you actually need some sort of glass first off, so that's going to be kind of hard. Second, you actually need sun to make this work. So if you crash too late in the day, this is garbage. Second one, so bow drill method. This one is actually most viable if you know how to make the bow. It's actually quite complicated to make, but it's very easy to use. So I'm gonna have to say bow drill. It's pretty good. Um, mine's probably gonna be the bow drill. What about you, Anne? Oh my goodness. I kind of want to say fire plow, but if I die alone, I'll be so sad. I'll go fire plow. All right, and you died. Oh my goodness, no, no, <laughs> I'm sorry. Goodness. no, no, I didn't know. No, because Steven, your reasoning was perfect. That was supposed to be a trick. Because technically, lens-based method is the fastest way to make fire. Nothing else can beat it next to, you know, using matches. But, like I said before, like, you need to do this fast because the sun's about to go down. And so, bow drill is the next best method to use. Alright, so everybody gets their part done, the SOS signs made, the fire is going, and some sexy engineer guy made some simple shelter to get under, and someone found a lake nearby for water. And holy crap, things are going super smoothly. But the next morning, you realize just how terrible it is to sleep without a bed. And one of you got a bite from a mosquito that carries a very deadly disease. Now I'm going to make you guys pick a number from 1, 2, 3 because luck has a part in survival. And if one of you gets bit, you're dead. So pick a number from 1, to 3. What? No. You can't do that. Wait, so what's the point of this? So if we get the number... So yeah, pick a number from 1, 2, 3. And whoever has the number with the disease gets bit and dies because luck does have a role in surviving. I'm going with 2. I like 3. Well, Anne gets one, cause... You guys sure? I'll let you guys change if you want. Nah, I like three, cause Do you that's... wanna change, Anne? <sighs> I don't know, how good is your luck? Uh, I get crits against the enemy heroes. Okay, I want three. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll take one. I'll take two then. Alright, is that it? Is that- are you guys sure? Sure. Mm -hmm. right. No, I want two. Oh my god. Uh, three. Yes, I'm two. Uno mas. Alright. Number three gets the disease. Damn it. Hey. <laughs> Damn it, <laughs> Steven. I knew it. As soon as he said luck, Daniel was like, let's screw Steven. Feels good, man. Feels, feels good to be alive, man. <laughs> yeah, it feels good. <laughs> Alright, so people are getting hungry and decide to find sources of food. Fish Cannibalism. <laughs> Mother fudger! Okay. <laughs> okay, can we actually talk about this? Quiz aside, are you guys willing to actually do eat other humans for survival? No. Yes. I'm actually curious of what? how it would taste, to be honest. Well, Not that I would do it. Humans mm. are apparently salty in flavor, Americans mostly. I don't want to know whether you did research on this before. Don't worry, I have first-hand experience. <laughs> right. <laughs>
Why would you eat people? You have like grass. I mean, like, I don't see a vegan bar <laughs> popping out on my front lawn. <laughs> <laughs> what about like animals? There's animals too, like dogs. Yeah, that's so hard to catch it. Oh my gosh. We can eat sand, if anything, honestly. I heard people go insane when they eat like human. They just turn into a maniac. Like something triggers their brain or something. Anyway, fishing goes terribly wrong. All the berries seem to have poison in them, so people are starving. For some reason, Steven Hosa and Anne are chosen to go hunting. And somehow, in some way, through life and death, the three of them manage to hunt a baby boar. And As soon as you try to figure out how to take it back to shelter, a mountain lion comes out of nowhere and it looks like it wants the boar. Do you, A, effin' run, B, scream loudly and try to fight it off because everyone is really really hungry, C, walk back slowly and let the lion take it, it is not worth it, D, split up and get help from others. Do we have any weapons with us, or is it just barehanded? You caught it with the with the spear, I guess. Oh, so we so we do have weapons then. Yeah, yeah, hunting weapons. You have hunting weapons. But you gotta remember, it's Stephen Holsa and Anne. <laughs> Not insulting you three, but like it's 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 a baby. You guys barely managed to catch a baby boar. I would give the lion what he wants. <laughs> Uh, our, our lives are much more important. I think we should split up and get help from others. Maybe let Steven hold the boar and then me and Hosea can run again. <laughs> <laughs> let Steven just stay there and then we'll go back. We'll let him deal with it and we'll get other people. And then oh. if, if he dies in the process, we still get the boar and the lion. So. What about you, Steven? So we have weapons. There's three of us against a mountain lion. Yeah, no, I'd say fight it. I think that would backfire. Not sure. I've never seen a mountain lion in a deserted island before, but I think if I was a mountain lion, I would get pissed off and I would eat one of you. <laughs> <laughs> Hosa got it right! Yeah. Yeah, see, he's the right answer. Walk back slowly and let the lion take it. It's not actually worth the risk of fighting the mountain lion. Steven would be right if this was, if the animals knew what humans are like. But in a deserted land, it's a very different situation. I mean, you never know what animals will do. And even if you scream loudly and like try to fight it off, one of you might get injured and it's definitely not worth the risk of having this boar. There's obviously favoritism towards Hosa this game. <laughs> I'm, I'm just stricken. a smart person choosing the right answer. Stop the cap! <laughs> Stop the cap right now! I think he should be stricken from the panel. <laughs> <laughs> Time passes by and the rescues don't seem to be coming. And the 12 of you really, really want to get out. Do you A. Build a raft and see where it takes you? B. Start drying faces on coconuts, make plays and sing randomly because you're really bored. Or C, stay put and simply wait for help to conserve energy. I'm number two, obviously. <laughs> no, but um, it takes energy to do things. Oh, C, you're supposed to like sit down and do nothing? Yeah. People yeah. do that in a survival situation. That's a, that's a legitimate oh, oh strategy. Gosh. I'll probably kill myself during that time. Though. I'll do. I'll go B because I don't want to build a raft. And I don't like the ocean. I don't like the water. I don't like sharks. I don't like. I don't like storms. I don't like thunders. I don't like. You don't like water. a lot of things. <laughs> I just don't want to die. If everyone's morale is pretty down, then I'd say B, because we got to keep our spirits up. If we simply wait around, then everyone's just going to be like, what's the point? Let's try to get off the island. And they would start building the raft and that'd kill them. 
uh, conserve my energy. Right now, I don't want to do anything. Like, why would I want to do things over there in the island? So you're just gonna let me and Steven sing and make plays yeah, in front of you? We're, we're gonna give you free shows? <laughs> you gotta pay up. No, 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 no. You have, want. To, you have to sing with us. Your soul. Oh. <laughs> and it's just like, you have to sing with us and play and have fun. Steven's like, we want, we want your soul. If his attitude don't contribute to the group, might as well take something. Start cutting <laughs> off limbs of people. Like, it's like, we need your leg for today since you're not going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> you're not dancing. Your leg is getting chopped off. <laughs> B is right. Um, start drawing faces on coconuts. Make plays sing randomly. Because whether you believe it or not, morale plays a huge role in survival, especially if you're in a deserted island. And so you need to, even if you're using energy, you need to sing, you need to think of good thoughts, you need to make happy things happen. Otherwise, you start to give up. Take that. So right now, Steven and Anne are at a tie. So we're going to have a tiebreaker. What do you want to do? How do you want to do this? How how can you how can you um, prove to yourself you're the better survivor? Who can draw the best coconut on a face? <laughs> do it, do it right now. Okay, fine. All right, all right. right. So wh whoever can draw the best face on the coconut wins this game. And has bragging rights doke. until the next video. Hokey doke. How long do we have? Uh, you guys got thirty seconds. Ready? Hokey doke. Ready? Yeah. Set. Go. 12 seconds later. I'm done. Done. Wow, All right. Fast. Where's Where the face? face on the coconut? It's on the it's side. Look me on, on the coconut. It's on the side. <laughs> you did a tree? I did do a tree. I went above and beyond. I think I get both of those. Look at those details on the coconut. He is Text. sucking up by saying, subscribe to Dan. <laughs> Just an impartial judge, I have to say, Anne wins. Yes! <laughs> I would like to accuse Daniel of Russian hacking. What? I've been tampering with the vote. It's always the Russians. Alright, well, Anne wins! Yay!